Arthur, and we're back at Dropping the Soap, and I am here with Mandy Fabian, one of the creators. Hey, hey Mandy, tell, hi, uh, tell everyone hi. Hello, everyone. Okay, so Mandy, yes. lead us straight in. What are we going to expect? Okay. Hesitation right there. <laughs> Hesitation. Dropping the Soap. Now, if you Google Dropping the Soap, if you search for it on YouTube, you're going to see a lot of scary stuff. It's not, or fun stuff, depending on what you're into. Uh, I Googled it today, Urban Dictionary. That was the oh, thing that first came interesting, up. Interesting, right? So it's not a prison drama. It's a hilarious behind the scenes of a failing soap opera. So you see the cast really fighting to get position and save their asses. Can I say asses? Say it. Oh, asses. Save their asses. And, um, and then you get to see these glimpses of their soap opera, which are really deliciously cheesy and funny. They look so, so good in the trailer. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like a real soap opera. It does look like a real soap opera. That was our intent. So it's two stories for the price of one. And they're only like 10 minute episodes. That's amazing. So what came up, who came up with the idea? How did you sign on? And a web series, where did that come in from? That's, a, okay. So um, Paul Witten said, I want to do a behind the scenes of a soap opera. And I grabbed his arm. I was like, I have to write it. And so we all met and I met with the cast. And so I picked out what their characters might be and shaped a whole story and world around it. And that's how, and then we just started doing it. And the more we did it, the more people were interested and wanted to come on board. And then you got, you know, Nancy Pyle and Jane Lynch. And, yeah. Yes, and then uh, your husband. Yes, yes. Patrick, Patrick Fabian. Patrick Fabian from Better Call yes. Saul. Yeah. yeah. And oh, well, it's, it's a great way to get a job is to sleep with the writer. It's a great way. Now, I'm not talking about Missy and Jane that I'm allowed to speak about contractually. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So... Uh, so, okay, so what's the future for Dropping the Soap? The future for Dropping the Soap is we're going to launch uh, on iTunes, Amazon, Deku, and Google Play. Okay, and go download. We're, and we're working on, yeah, and we're working on season two. Season two, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. All right. And so you're going to keep on going with the show, right? You bet. You, Absolutely. Awesome. It's too fun not to. Perfect. So what was one of the most, create, or the most fun things that you created in the entire show? Like, was it a character? Was it a scene? Yeah. Was it... I think it was probably the, some of the character names. Like, I created Romano Asiago, which is two cheeses put together. That sounds like That's an amazing name. That's just cheesy. Name. Yeah. My second favorite name is Flock Deluge. I don't know why. It just cracks me up. And also, my husband was working in Albuquerque. He was shooting a show in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. So in the medical scene, when she talks about albuquestramine, that's because of Albuquerque. <laughs> Well, okay, so yeah. now you know some trivia, guys. No trivia. Yeah, well, thank you so thank much you so for much for being sign here. off. All right, guys. All right. This is Arthur, and we're signing off here with Pop Rap and dropping the soap premiere. Bye, guys. Bye. Have fun. Watch the show.